everyone welcome to Weed and Secret today I'm going to be making an out of this world soap and I need to make a scraper first of all so what you need is some really strong cardboard to make a scraper because what I want to do is I, I want to put um, a world uh, an earth in the bottom of the soap so we'll start off with some green and blue soap to make the world and then you're going to need your mold and what you want to do is you want to fit that to where it's going inside your liner so you need to just cut it down until it fits perfectly neatly and fairly tightly into there but not too tightly that you can't move it up and down your mold like this so what we're going to do is we're just going to get a ruler and I'm going to take my scalpel just cut this end off first I'm going to make two and then I've got one for each mould I'll probably only use the scraper once because I only want to scrape that uh, that world layer in first So the best way to do it is just cut a little bit off and see if it fits. So it's not fitting in there yet. So we just need to cut, cut some more off. Just cut less and less off each time until you're somewhere near. I guess you could measure your liner and do it that way but this is the way I do it so because we're getting closer I'm going to get my ruler again and score it so I get it in a nice straight vertical line Still not there. Make sure you don't cut your fingers off when you're doing this. So it's actually fitting into the loaf but it's not fitting into the liner. So I just like to put it in diagonally. You can see it's nearly there but not quite. If I put it straight, it's still too big. So I know this looks like a palaver, but it is the best way to get it tight fitting. If you take too much off, then it's not going to work as well. There. 
that's it it's perfect it's touching the sides it's touching the liner all the way down and I want to so I'm just going to snip that in half and then I want something round that's going to be like a world shape in the bottom so I'm just going to take my scalpel again and score both of those now this one isn't straight on the bottom now although I've scored it and we've got a like a centimeter either side I don't actually want um, it to be around and then flat I'm just going to taper this over into the corners on both sides like so and then the same on the other one So we've got a nice curve but it's not a perfectly circular curve and then we'll just take our scalpel and score that until it's cut out it's best to get your scalpel in and cut it neatly don't tear it and that way you'll get a neater a neater scrape there might be some little bits sticking up in each one just scrape those off as well okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to grate some soap and with your grater it has big holes and then it has this rough side then it has these finer holes on the back, the finer the better. So you're literally just going to take your soap and you're going to grate it. Now I'm actually doing this after I've made the full batch of soap, so I'm not going to grate all of this. I just wanted to show you how I do it. And I didn't spray it with rubbing alcohol or anything because this is cold process so and you can see it just makes these nice fine shreds and I've just done it on the finest shavings that I could and these are going to do for stars I'm hoping they're going to look like stars in the soap okay so what we have here is 1.4 kilos of soap butter We've got some pistachio mica and some tropical temptations. I'll put a link to those in the description box below. And we're using today the fragrance Moon Dust, which is from it's Blossom Oils, I think. I just don't want to make a mistake. Yes, Blossom Oils. This is a perfect fragrance for this type of soap where you're doing like an out of this world or an outer space or a universe or a galaxy or whatever anything that's out of this world this is a perfect fragrance for all. not going overboard on how much fragrance I put in here but I'm putting the fragrance in first into this uh, jug I remember rightly it soaks pretty well just going to give that a stir and then I'm going to split it so I'm going to put 700 mils into this jug so we should have 700 in each ish right now for some color I'm 
put the pistachio into this one and the tropical temptations into this one because blue and green will make a perfect looking world shape won't it world color i mean not shape all right we'll just blend those in Just do kind of in the pot swell. And then get that into the mould and just wait for it to thicken up. My grandma always used to say blue and green should never be seen and I say but oh what a beautiful colour combination okay we're still waiting for that soap to thicken up uh, so I thought I've mixed my colours while I was waiting and I thought I would run through them. I had an accident with my frother when I was mixing the black. After I'd finished with it, I accidentally turned it on. It went up the walls, all over the counter, all over my face, all over my top, just everything covered in it. Um, so I've been cleaning up and still the soap isn't thick enough to uh, scrape yet. So, I thought I'd tell you which colours we're using today. So, this one here is Silver Dust from Mica Mama. This one is Blackberry from Mica Mama. This one is Blue Steel by Mica Mama. I'm using some fluorescent purple here from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. And this one is the Black Pearl from You Make It Up. If I can find a similar one, I'll write it in the description box below the video i say that because you make it up don't actually ship to the uk anymore so what we're going to do first is we're just going to scoop that up into the middle on both sides it's probably still not quite there but Often when I'm doing scraping, I tend to go wait a little bit too long. So that's why I'm starting a little earlier. Do you know, I'm in in a way, you don't even need a scraper. You could just do what I'm doing now. It would still have the same effect. It's a really good fragrance this actually, it works beautifully in soap.
I'm not wanting to mess about with it too much because it mixes the two colours together and then makes a turquoise and I don't want that. This is working well today, isn't it? As far as scraping goes for me. I think we might be our first perfect scrape of this kind. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm not going to touch that anymore. I'm just going to go into the next one. But I'll probably need to scrape all this off the side here. But I'll get this one in first. Again, that one feels a tiny tight. I guess now I know what the texture is supposed to be like when you're doing a scrape on a soap. Oops, <laughs> I didn't even get that in the dish. blemish there so I'll probably run it across once more and there is a bit of a blemish here as well Isn't it good when things work? I haven't finished the soap yet, so something could go wrong yet. There. And I'll just show you how much we've wasted, which won't actually get wasted. We'll, we will actually use what's in there. Just going to scrape off. Can you see? Yeah. I'm going to scrape off what's on the sides here. I mean, in a way, you don't need to be that fussy because it is the side and...
I'll just turn the camera off to do the other side because you're not going to see what I'm doing anyway. Guess what happened? I thought nothing was going to go wrong after that. When I came back to my batch of soap in my pan, half of it was solid. I.e. the centre was solid, the outer was liquid. So I couldn't use it, so I potted it up and it'll get used later. I mixed some lye solutions earlier on and they were too hot to use so I put one in the freezer just to try and cool it down somewhat so it's now at least an hour and a half later since I did that um, that world scrape so the lye solution is still a bit warm um, but I've mixed my soap batter up and I'm just going to go straight in with my fragrance oil and I'm frightened that because the the lye is still warm it's going to speed the trace up it's going to accelerate but it seems like this fragrance is a slow it down accelerator So we're going to put the grated soap in just the black. You don't need too much in there. And I always just use a whisk because that separates all that grated soap it's just separated all out and suspends it throughout the colour that you use instead of it all clumping together in one spot now for the next part we need another jug because we're going to do a one of these
to start the other one off first because I want to make sure they're both pretty even. I should have used the other jug, shouldn't I? Black was my last colour in there, wasn't it? I'm just going to save a little bit of the colours to drizzle on the top. And then in we go to the pot with those. Definitely looks out of this world, doesn't it? So we've definitely got enough for a bit of a higher top because obviously I made an extra batch. This one I'm just going to pour it straight into the centre and see what happens. All right, so I don't want to make it too crazily high. So I'm just going to take a, a spoon and drizzle some bits of soap on, like so.
Wow, that looks so nice. Okay, hope you're as happy with this one as I am. Smells fabulous, looks awesome. Totally what I was trying to create. If I had to pick any fault, it's just the size of the speckles, but they're small enough. I'm happy with them. They're definitely creating the effect that I wanted. And it's much better than actually sprinkling them with some mica or titanium dioxide after the saponified like this because uh, it's just going to rub off isn't it so there you go everyone thanks so much for watching we'll have another video coming up very very soon here at Eden Secret I'll see you all bye bye for now